Thanks for checking out this week's web design video blog. Here's a video walkthrough of how to track Google Analytical goals in Contact Form 7. Okay, so this is uh, the Flooring Restoration website, which is completely built on WordPress and obviously utilizes Contact Form 7. One of the uh, forms on the website is this get a free online quote button, just here, that allows visitors of the website to get a quote on the services available for the site. So what we're going to do is to set up a Google Analytics goal to track uh, the successful completion or conversion of this contact form. With more traditional contact forms, uh, you might get perhaps redirected to a thank you page, something with a different URL that's fairly straightforward to track in Google Analytics as a goal. However, contact form seven is a bit more up to date and it uses an Ajax event to submit your data, which means when you post the data, as you probably know, you don't actually leave the page you're on, the URL stays the same. So it can be a little bit trickier to track this in Google Analytics. However, Google offer a JavaScript function called track page view that you can use to ping Google Analytics goal events. To go with this, contact form seven provides a JavaScript action hook named on sent okay. And that uh, is automatically triggered when your form is successfully completed. So all we do is use that uh, action hook to ping our Google Analytics goal and it will register and track that goal for us. Now, that may sound a little bit complicated, but it's actually far easier than I'm uh, making out. So the first thing we want to do uh, is to set up a goal that we can track. Now, this isn't necessarily going to be a tutorial on how to set up a goal, but I'll just quickly whip through how you set one up. So I'm just in Google Analytics for flooring restoration. I'm heading over to the admin tab, clicking on the profile and then heading over to goals. I've obviously already set up two goals, one for the contact form, one for the quick quote form. I'll just quickly set up the quick quote form one again, just to show you how to do it. Call it something useful like quick quote form. Uh, obviously that wants to be active. It's a URL destination, even though we're not going to be redirected, uh, we can simply create a phantom URL that we're going to use to ping. So simply call this anything you like, it doesn't actually have to be uh, a real URL or accessible. We're just going to use this reference to register the goal. So I usually call mine, particularly if I've got more than one form, perhaps contact slash uh, quick quote, just to differentiate it and be able to recognize it in the, in the uh, reporting. Leave it exact match and simply push save. And that's going to uh, start the goal uh, running. So when you come back in, it should look simply like this. And all we're going to need is this uh, URL reference, the goal URL, and we're going to ping that goal URL to register uh, and track an event or a conversion. So once you've set up the goal, head over to uh, the back end of WordPress, click on the contact form seven tab, and then go through to edit the tab, uh, sorry, edit the form that you'd like to track. So this is our quick quote form. And you've probably seen at the very bottom of the page, you've got the additional settings. Great news is you don't have to open up or hack into the plugin or run a, any additional JavaScript. You can do all of this purely from the CMS. Down in additional settings, you'll see that I've already started, uh, I've already run the requirement using the uh, JavaScript hook, the uh, Google JavaScript function, and my specified URL. You can simply copy and paste this code from the supporting blog post and paste it into the additional settings. What you want to bear in mind though, is if you've got the asynchronous, the newer uh, Google Analytics tracking code, you need to use the uh, GAC push method that I've uh, got just here. Don't worry though, if you've got the older uh, Google Analytics tracking code, uh, there's also a version for that, that uh, I've just pasted in here alongside, that uses the sort of older page tracker function like so. So you'll be able to copy and paste both from the supporting blog post, but just make sure that you get the asynchronous one if you're using the asynchronous code or the older, more traditional one if you're using the older code. All you then do is simply paste that in, make sure it's all on uh, one line and you've got all of your sort of uh, inverted commas in the right place and simply hit save. And it's as simple as that. That will then start to track your goal so that when you head back over to the uh, reporting area of Google Analytics, you should be able to hit conversions and then see your goals tracking data like mine are just here. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you can find all the code and more information on our supporting blog post. Thanks for watching.